Hey guys, I'm at Tampa Bay Power Sports today. Uh, one of my favorite places to be. I'm at their uh, backyard. Well, it's the backyard. So uh, that's where we're at. And we're about to be working on this Sea-Doo right there. Um, it was a customer's ski. They're going above and beyond for the customer and having us out here to detail it out. And let me show it to you. All right, here we go. Definitely needs some cleaning, some water extraction. Got to clean some mold off the seat. Everything's going to get polished. This thing, he wants it in tip top shape. It's also going to get uh, my 10 year Super 7 Extreme coating. Full of water, full of dirt, full of grime and nastiness. You can see that layer of sludge and crap all over the water line. Got some decent gashes in it, but overall in decent shape. Water in the storage compartment. Let's see. The engine compartment doesn't look horrible uh, except for it's full of water we gotta get that straight too all right well that's that gotta get her straight and uh, we'll go from there so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything pulled out of the van and Get the water out of the footwells that's the first order of business and then try to basically tilt it back so i can get the water out of the hull so i'm gonna go ahead and get set up and get that water out of there and give it a bath and we'll come back and i'll show you a clip after that all right we got just a little bit of a delay uh tony and i got the water out of the footwells and now we're just waiting on it to drain which is happening but very slowly So now we'll wait all right so we are well into this detail we had to drain the water out which you can see down in there some sludge and stuff I just can't get down there to clean it out I'm gonna do what I can but you can see this nasty milky ugh, throw up looking and smelling mess anyway so we've got some cracks and crevices left to clean but i've got half this thing polished and uh i'll show you this is what it looks like unpolished pretty nasty and dull everywhere hazy more like a dark gray than a black uh, now, yes, there are some streaks and stuff uh, just because we've been treating trim, polishing, wiping down, all of that all at the same time. I did get most of the vinyl looking amazing. There's a few spots that the uh, my Marine Series uh, vinyl mold and mildew cleaner uh, just couldn't couldn't wipe out, unfortunately, but it looks awesome. It was all nasty up here it looks great now and then all underneath there was all moldy got all that straight so this side's all polished and good to go you can see a dramatic difference but i'm gonna keep on keeping on get the rest of this polished i gotta get this crap off here um I did take a scrub brush to these mats and they look awesome. There was dirt and all kinds of crap in between all the letters, but I got all those looking great. I, all I did was spray Universal Clean and Prep down and then I used a hard bristle brush, that one right there, and scrubbed them out and then wiped them with a uh, damp towel and some more Universal Clean and Prep. We're good to go. 
All right, so it's a uh, that's about two thirds of the way done, and I'm gonna proceed and get this thing knocked out. Then we're gonna spray some Super Seven on this bad boy. Okay, we're now applying the Super Seven Extreme package, uh, which includes uh, Super Seven, a seven year coating, and the uh, triple trifecta top coat, which is the new three year coating. So we're doing uh, two deals. Now we're putting on the um, triple trifecta top coat, three year deal, right on top of some Super 7. Um, this is the brand new spray rig. It's a uh, airbrush situation, nice little compressor, 25 foot of hose and a sweet little sprayer. So I'm able to literally put on the right amount of juice get it leveled out and move on so got my lovely assistant Tony over here leveling everything out this is uh, three quarters of an ounce is in that little cup right there and uh, I filled it up but I've been doing a lot of testing this is actually the first time I'm using this new spray rig so it's actually working out very well so we're going to go ahead and get this knocked out and we'll be back uh, as soon as the coating is done and everything's trimmed out and looking amazing all right boys and girls it's all done what a job all right so cleaned all inside underneath the uh seat um they're not quite done in the engine bay but the seat is all done and looks awesome compared to how it did. All the mold is pretty much gone. A couple spots remain. This thing no longer looks dark gray. It's nice and black and glossy now, so that's awesome. Treated all the trim. And she's just in really good shape. So I polished it with Universal All-in-One. Um, I then did a, a universal clean and prep wipe down on everything and then followed that by Super 7 and then immediately topped that off with the brand new triple trifecta top coat. So, looking good. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble and show you how I detail fancy stuff. So this sea -Doo, uh is all done. So we polished everything, wiped it all, polished with Universal All-in-One. Well, let me just start at the beginning. We gave it a solid, thorough bath first. Then we polished with Universal All-in-One, wiped everything down with Universal Clean and Prep. After that, um, I applied Super 7, the triple trifecta hybrid coating, the pro coating. Then after that, I applied the brand new triple trifecta top coat, which is the brand new three year coating for consumers. Uh, that adds additional gloss slickness and protection, extends the life of Super 7 to 10 years, and you're good to go. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation on Facebook. It's a group there where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. If you guys got questions for me, 813-846-4406 is my cell. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day.